Karen from Florida. Karen, are you with us? Yes, I am. Hi. Hi, Karen. How can we help you today? Uh, thank you so much for taking my call. Um, and Dr. Joe, I have been listening to your podcast um, on autoplay for months now. So <laughs> thank you to everybody who works so hard. It helps me get back to sleep when I can't sleep in the middle of the night. Yeah. Um, well, my wife does the same thing when she can't uh, sleep. Joe, start talking and it puts her right out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, yeah. That didn't, you're, he's very great to listen to. He won't put you to sleep, I promise. Um, here's my question. Okay. Um, my husband and I are in smart contact, but he is living about two hours away. Mm. Uh, he's, he wants to work on our marriage. Mm-hmm but he is definitely still in limerence with an LO that he's only met physically once really? in Argentina. And they met about a year ago uh, and it's deep emotional stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, he has been very, uh, he's been very open and um, mm-hmm. we've been married 35 years or 32 years. He's very open. We talk a lot. We're best friends. Mm-hmm. He cannot believe he's in this position. Mm-hmm. And I told him about Marriage Helper. He has asked for some videos. Good. I really want to, I want to bring it to a, I, I want him to say yes and to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to be able to do that without him feeling tricked or trapped. Exactly. And that's very good. So does, why does he want to put the marriage back together? He has cried and said he could not envision life divorced from me. He's like, let's not do divorce. Let's just Mm -hmm. work. You know, we'll always be best friends. He's kind of living in the Valley, I think where he Uh, thinks uh, it's all going to work out. mm -hmm. Um, I know he's lying to me about details. Mm -hmm. Um, he's got money set aside to get her into the country. I know he's lying to her. I overheard him on the phone just this morning telling her that I'm okay with all of this. Um, so he's in the Valley. He's kind of keeping us both, uh, assuaged. You know, Mm -hmm. Um, but he has he has told me that he is willing to 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 get the help. And I did. He asked for some specific videos. Mm -hmm. I gave them to him. I don't know if he's watched them. I'm trying not Mm -hmm. to push. Yeah. Um, It just all feels so delicate right now. You know, Mm -hmm. I understand. And how long have you been feeling of living apart? Uh, since, um, December, since December. So, so and he, mm-hmm. he comes, he, yeah, he comes and stays with me and the kids. Um, mm-hmm. he was just here for three days. Huh. Then there's usually like a week off and then we go up and visit him at his place two hours away. Mm-hmm. And we are, we do family things. He lets me hug him. He lets me kiss him. He, he does not initiate contact, but mm-hmm. We talk and text every day. He says he really wants that. I let him initiate conversations. Mm -hmm. I'm really trying to follow your smart contact, and it seems to be working beautifully. Good. Um, But I'm also concerned that he's in process with putting money aside to get her here. And Mm -hmm. there's that part of me that wants to put a stop to that. I'm so afraid that if she gets here and things really start to coalesce between them, this is going to take a lot longer, but I also mm-hmm. know that he's lying to her. So it's, it's tricky. Yeah, it is. And, and you are right in the sense that it may make things more intense if she gets here. It also, believe it or not, has the possibility of doing it just the opposite. Because if he's only seen her once, mm-hmm. and, and when you say he saw her once, how long was that for? It was actually, I found out about the whole thing because he got her a plane ticket to New York and they met in New York when he was on a business trip. Mm-hmm. Um, he says, and I do believe him because she's a Christian woman. He's a Christian man. He has mm-hmm. said, he's declared that they will not, they will not um, have sex until both of them are divorced. Uh-huh. Um, but they met once, they met once, they went out to dinner and they went to a museum. That is what he says. That's and I, I think he's telling the truth, actually. That's what he says, mm-hmm. but he, he may be anyway, you know, I, I know, I know to expect him to lie. I do. Yeah. And how old is your husband? He is 53 and, and I'm 15. Oh, you sound much younger than that, by the way. How old are your kids? 
Uh, 13, 16, and 21. Ah, excellent. And, and my husband and I married when I was 19. 19. So we've been together my whole ah, life. A long time. And if you, any idea how old this other woman is? She is 42. Okay, so roughly a decade younger than he is? Yes, yeah, so my husband has also told me that he has kind of like a hero complex, like he loves to rescue. Hmm. And she has told him, oh, I want to have children. My husband won't let me have kids. My husband is, you know, losing weight and taking testosterone supplements. And I, I did see a bunch of texts between them where he promised her a life and children. Mm-hmm. Um, and, hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I came across all of these texts um, in a weird way. They got emailed to me by mistake. Uh-huh. I wasn't snooping. They happened. And it, it was six months worth of texts. Wow. Um, where they talked, where they talked about a plan. Right. But he says it was just talk. It's fantasy. You know, to, um, to some degree, I know that anyway, to some degree, that's uh-huh. right. To some degree, it is fantasy, but it's, it's a future they're planning together. Part of this limerence thing is that up to 85% of the waking hours, and I'm not saying that's true of your husband. I'm saying in general, up to 85% of waking mm-hmm. hours, is spent in, in fantasizing, but thinking about what our future together would be, how things are going to be different and all those kinds of things. And that's part of what makes this thing so blooming strong. Yes. Now, if I'm hearing your question right. correctly, what you're saying is, mm-hmm. I really want him to come to the workshop, but I don't want him to feel pressured or manipulated. That's what I heard you say, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, there is a way to do this. <clears throat> we, you can't always remove every sense or every feeling of pressure. Okay. We certainly don't want to manipulate people Mm -hmm. and that works out to your disadvantage. But since you know that he's actually putting money aside, that's designed to bring her here, then does he know that you know that? No, actually he had all the mail forwarded to his new address, but I got the statement and I didn't actually, I didn't even realize it wasn't my account or the, the account that we share. I just opened up the statement and I looked and I'm like, I don't recognize any of this. And I realized it was his separate account that he got, yeah. and there is, there is stuff that goes to her in her name. Um, mm-hmm. It hasn't been a tremendous amount yet, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but he does, take, he does take quite a bit to set aside, and I'm just, um, I know mm-hmm. that I'll get another statement next month. I haven't told him yet. I see. Well, here's a suggestion. Now, obviously, you have to do what you think is the best thing to do, but here's a suggestion for you to try. It's to say to him, okay. okay, you know, you say that you can't think about life without me being in it, et cetera, yet I know that you're still involved with this other woman. And so I'm asking you to do something for me. I'm asking, will you please come to the workshop with me now for me? Because of the fact that I really want to understand more about myself. I want to understand more about how this relationship, I want to understand if there's even a potential for a future together or not. Now it is a marriage workshop and mm-hmm. it is about putting people back together. And so they'll be talking about that, but they promise that they don't pressure, mm-hmm. they don't manipulate, they don't twist arms. But I'm asking, will you yep. do that for me now? Now, is there some pressure in that? The answer is yeah, there's some, but I don't know that you can remove all pressure from it, but it's certainly not. It's certainly Actually, not I said that yesterday. And what did he say? Yeah. He said, he said, send me the videos and I'll think about it. So okay. um, I guess my question to you, sir, is, you know, I want to give him a little bit of time. Yeah. I don't want to push, you know, hey, did you watch those videos? Hey, did you watch those videos? Hey, you know, because right. um, I, you know what I mean? Um, right. I feel like we have come so far. Good. that I don't want to push him in another direction. I, I do understand that, and I think that's very smart. Yet, you already have evidence that he's making plans, that include some money at yes. least, that he's going to be with her. Right. Typically, what we recommend is, when, and you've probably heard this before, but when people are in the valley, you tolerate it if, if there's still progress being made. But if at any point you mm-hmm. think that it's going the other way, sometimes that's when you say, this is what I need from you. And so one possible response, and I, and I don't want you to push either. I mean, if things are going well, don't mess it up. But one response might be, in a week or two, hey, whether you watch the videos or not, I'm asking you to do this for me because this is what I would gain from it. Now, I realize it sounds like mm-hmm. I'm pushing you, but I'm not. It's just that I would love a shot <laughs> at being able to put him in a room with you yeah. in a room with us for three days to help yeah. him realize yeah. 
because we can do things in three days we can't do here and we certainly can't do on the videos. Now, we don't manipulate, we don't twist and arms. I have, Go ahead. I have followed your advice, sir. I have not told him he's in limerence. He has no idea. Good. And I'm trying to just, Good. I see all of the signs and symptoms. I, you know, but I've, your advice is rock solid. I am so appreciative of you all for that Good. I found you when I did. I Good. really am. Um, so, okay. Right, it sounds like, so like, like you're wait, doing you smart say, things. wait like a week or two to give it a little bit of time to season in him? Sure. And then, again, it's not okay. like you're like, this is it or, but it's more like, okay, right. I know that you care about me, and so I'm asking you to do this for me. Even if you haven't watched the videos, right. will you do this for me? And, and you, okay. don't, you don't do it with pressure. You do it asking for a favor and hope that he complies. Yep. Because... Uh, yep. If, if you can kind of hit some of these things off before there's much money built up over there, that actually can be a good thing. Right. The fact that he's only seen her once, yep. a lot of this has to do with fantasizing about what the future would be. And, and right. we, can help, we can help put reality roots under that without, without manipulating yep. him, without yelling okay. at him, without preaching at him. We don't do any of that. Right. We just do it through an educational okay. process. But I tell you what, I'm impressed okay. with you, very much so. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you are strong. Thank you. I, you are really strong. The day I found out about her, I found out I had Lyme disease, and my husband's complaint was that I was so tired all the time, and he didn't feel like he could help. So I'm, I'm trying to focus on getting well Good. and showing him. It's actually helped with my pies because Good. I'm just like, I'm getting better. See, that was the old me. This is the new me. So it's actually helped with my pies. Well, so, I'll tell you what, I'm, you. I'm putting you on my list of people that, you know, are very strong and very impressive. We'd <laughs> love, we would love to Thank help you. you. And, and uh, are you already talking Thank to you. one of our client representatives by any chance? I have. I've been talking with Erin and she's been really, really yeah. helpful. Yeah. And, um, and I'm also on your Facebook um the private page, oh, and the, the secret page, the admin that, yeah, the admin mm -hmm. and all the people there have been super supportive. Good. Um, Good. Um, yeah. Thank you. Hey, we want to help any way we can. My thank heart, you. my heart is in, in your camp, young lady. And, uh, you, thank you, you're, you're, you keep doing the right things. And I think that ultimately we can see a great result here.